My name is Michelle. I'm a yoga instructor with the Suffolk YJCC, and I'm glad you got here today. We're going to start in a seated position. So just come to a comfortable seated position, and if it's too difficult for you to cross your legs, you can put one leg in front of the other. That's absolutely fine. But the back should be straight. So you can make a pillow with your blanket and lift up a little bit if that makes it more comfortable for you to keep your back straight. So we're going to keep our back absolutely straight as if there's a string pulling us up. And then settle into your breath. So feel the weight of your body on the mat. Let go of everything that came before coming to the mat. Let go of everything that you think might happen later. Just focus on your breath. Watch how the breath moves in your body. Bring your hands to the abdomen and feel the belly fill up with the inhalation and contract with the exhalation. Inhale, expand. Exhale, contract. You can bring your hands back to the knees and still watch the breath. Then bring your hands to the center of the chest with your thumbs against the sternum. And this is a good time to set an intention for your class, maybe for yourself or for somebody else, something that you want positive to happen in your life. And bring the hands down and slowly open the I want to remind you that this is your yoga class. So if there's something that I'm asking you to do that just isn't working for you today, don't do it. It's okay. It's yoga. Be gentle with yourself. So let's start with our arms to the side. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, reach down to the right. Keep your body in a straight line and use your breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, lift the arms up, exhale, reach to the left. Again, the body's in a straight line. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, the arms up, and this time we're going to twist to the right, bringing the left hand Behind, bringing the right hand behind us and the left hand on the right knee. Now you can keep your hands in a tent so that it helps lift your spinal column up and then stretch so you're looking over the right shoulder. Keep breathing. And then on the next inhale, lift the arms up and exhale to the left. Bringing the left hand behind you. Again, we can keep the hands at a 10. And lift the spinal column. Look over the left shoulder. Using your breath to relax your muscles. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Come back. Bring the hands down. Let's come up into all fours. So when we're in neutral pose, we want the back straight, the hands underneath in line with the shoulders, the knees in line with the hips. This is your neutral pose. Let's give some stretches and cat and cow to, to wake up the spine, work on the flexibility in the spinal column. We're going to take our time with this. So we'll inhale, arch. Exhale, curve. Take your time. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curve. And come back to your neutral pose. Stretch out the right leg on, your, on the balls of the feet. Stretch the back of the leg, preparing for the rest of your yoga class. And then we'll do that on the left side. Stretch out the back of the leg, roll back and forth. And now let's bring the hands a little bit further up. Spray out the fingertips. Curl the toes in and lift the hips up into your downward dog. 
And since it's a first downward dog, let's just pedal in place and really make this pedal kind of like an exaggerated move so that the hips are moving and your lower back is getting a bit of a twist. And then come down, bringing the heels down, relax the neck and shoulders, and breathe. And if you have to, bend your knees, it's okay. Then bring the knees down, come back into child's pose. Then come up on your knees and sweep the arms up. Bring the hands down, lift the hips up, downward dog. Bring the knees down, come back into child's pose. Again, let's come up on your knees, sweep the arms up, bring the hands down, lift the hips up, come back into child's pose. Open up the knees and take a breath. Roll the spine up. Come back into your all your, into your neutral pose. We're, we're preparing for a two-legged tabletop. So lift the right leg, lift the left arm. Inhale and exhale. Crunch. Bring the elbow to the knee. Inhale out. Exhale. Crunch. Inhale out. Exhale. Crunch. Inhale out. Hold it and come down. Let's do that on the other side. Straighten out the left leg and the right arm. Inhale, exhale, crunch. Inhale, out, exhale, crunch. Inhale, out, exhale, crunch. Inhale, out, hold it, and come down. Bring the hands just slightly up, spray out the fingertips, curl the toes in, and lift up into downward dog. Relax the neck and shoulders. And then walk the hands, walk the feet toward the hands, but let's make this really exaggerated so that you're stretching the back of your legs as you do so. So really kind of moving slow in slow motion. And then hang for a moment in standing forward bend. Then roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae. With the head being the last to come up, bring the hands to the small of the back and arch the back. Then straighten out the spine. Come to the front of your mat in preparation for spine for sun salutations. Let's play for a moment on the balls of your feet until you find a comfortable balance. Then once you find that balance, hold on to it. We're working with the breath here. So each movement, move, you're moving with the breath. So try to make the movement Last the whole breath. Inhale. Exhale. Palms together, pushing the palms together. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, reach out and down. Bend your knees if you have to. The hands should be on the outside of the feet. Inhale, the right leg back. We can stay a low lunge or bring the knee down and look up toward the ceiling. Retain the breath. Now you're in plank pose. Back is straight. So in plank pose, we don't want an arch. We don't want an arch in the back. We want to keep the back straight. We're going to come down as if we were a caterpillar. First, bring down the knees, then the chest, then the forehead. Inhale, slide into the cobra. Exhale, curl the toes in. Hips up, downward dog. Inhale, the right leg forward. Left knee on the ground. Look up to the ceiling. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, reach out, up, and back. Exhale, arms down. We'll do that one more time so that we're balanced on each side. Inhale. Exhale, palms together. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, reach out and down. Inhale, the left leg back, left knee on the ground, look up to the ceiling. Retain the breath, right leg back in a push-up position, plank pose. Exhale the knees, then the chest, then the forehead, hips in the air. Inhale, slide into the cobra. Exhale, downward dog. 
Inhale, left leg forward, right knee on the ground, look up to the ceiling. Exhale, right leg forward. Inhale, reach out, up, and back. Exhale, arms down. Let's take a breath in mountain pose. With your back straight, lift the toes up and come down one at a time so that you're rooted into the ground. Lift the shoulders up, back and down, and breathe. And slightly separate the legs, bringing the toes in just a little bit. Bend the knees, inhale, reach up into chair pose. Breathe. And then let's reach out and down and collapse into a down, into a standing forward bend. And then using your hands, slowly come down into seated pose and on your back. Back is straight, legs are straight, toes are pointing to the head in preparation for alternate leg lifts. Chin turning in slightly toward the chest, back of the neck is on the ground. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale down, inhale left leg up, exhale down, inhale right leg up, and grab hold of the leg behind the thigh, gently bringing the leg toward you, check that the back of the neck is on the ground, the chin turning in toward the chest. Inhale the chin up toward the knee, walk the hands up the leg toward the ankle. Breathe, bend the knee, Hug the leg into the chest. Lower the head. Just feel that back on the ground. Try to bring the shoulders down. Breathe. Then inhale the right leg up and exhale down. Inhale the left leg up. Grab hold of the leg behind the thigh. Gently bring the leg towards you. Breathe into the stretch. Inhale, exhale. On the next inhale, lift the chin up toward the knee, walk the hands up the leg toward the ankle. Reaching only as far as you can comfortably. Bend the knee, hug the leg into the chest, lower the head, inhale the leg up, exhale down. Take a breath. Bend the knees into the chest, open the arms so that you're making an open T and bring the knees over to the right arm, looking to the left. Try to keep both shoulders on the ground, and breathe in your twist. Now bring the knees up. With your left hand, bring the knees down to the left side, and look to the right. Again, both shoulders on the ground, Breathing into your stretch. Come back to center. And while we're not going to do the headstand today, let's get into a position where we can relax the legs, the bringing the circulation down, relaxing the movement, the pumping of the heart. Bringing the feet up. Imagine that we're standing on the ceiling. Let's take, you can leave your hands behind your legs. You can bring your hands down or you can open them up into an open seat. Whatever feels comfortable for you this morning or today. Now bring the knees into the chest, hugging the legs into the chest. Let's make some circles with the knees and then backward circles. Grabbing your legs, gently roll from side to side. And then keeping the hands on the ground, roll up and down. And what we're going to do is we're going to come into kind of like a plow, bringing the knees on the forehead and the toes pointing up to the ceiling. So this is kind of like a, um, a modified version of the shoulder stand. We still get many benefits. 
in this exercise. Inhale, exhale. And straighten out the legs to come out here to plow. Bring the hands down and then roll down. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Using your hands as brakes. And then bring the legs down. Take a breath. Bend the knees with the feet flat on the ground. Grab hold of the ankles. Preparing for the wheel. Let's do this up and down maybe two or three times before we get settled. So holding onto your ankles or your heels, lift the hips up to the ceiling and come down again. Lift the hips up to the ceiling and come down again. And it's the last one and we're gonna hold it. Lift the hips up and hold. Let's try to get the arms underneath the body, and if you can, interlace the fingers so that you're making a fist. But if not, you can keep your hands flat down on the ground. That's absolutely fine. Breathe. Then slowly roll down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Take your time, there's no rush. Bringing the hands to the outside of the legs, windshield wiper the knees, and as your knees go to the right, look to the left, giving your spinal column a bit of a twist, but also relieving any stress in the hips. Come back to center. Preparing for fish, which is the counterpose to these exercises. This exercise is also very important for the respiratory system. I'm going to give you some, some info now because I may not be able to talk when I'm in the position. So this is a really important position for breathing. So let's take advantage of that and really breathe deeply. So the first thing you're going to do is lift the right side of the body, bring the right arm under the right buttocks, then lift the left side of the body and bring the left arm under the left buttocks, hooking the thumbs together. Once those elbows are together under the body, then release and let leave the hands flat down on the ground. All right? Then using the strength of the elbows, lift up so the chest and the head are up, then arch the neck, bring the top of the head on the ground. Now the head is just there for the position, so if you can't reach all the way down, that's okay. Right now, my um, ponytail is in the way, so I can't get all the way down, but that's okay. We're just here for the stretch. Breathe. Then roll down. Release the arms. Interlace the fingers behind the head. And with the strength of the arms, lift the head so that you're looking up to the toes. Gently roll the head to the right. Gently roll the head to the left and back to center. Lower the head and relax. Take a breath in relaxation pose. Those were kind of big exercises, so you want to relax the body a little bit before moving on. Move the fingers and the toes. Bring the feet together and stretch, giving yourself a long stretch. Using your right elbow for support, come up to a seated position. Preparing for forward bends. So we're going to start with the right leg. The right leg is straight. The left foot is inside of the right thigh. The back is straight. You can bring the hands to the outside of the legs so, so that you can feel outside of the hips so that you can feel that spinal column nice and straight. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, reach out and down. And really, it doesn't matter where you land. It's really, this stretch is for the back of the legs and the back of the, and your back, your lower back. So it doesn't matter where you land. Just relax, and if your left hand is on the ground, you can walk the fingers forward and breathe. And inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, arms down, hands behind you. Look up to the ceiling for a quick counter stretch. Release, and we'll do the other side. Legs straight out, left leg straight out, right foot inside of the left thigh. Back is straight. Inhale, the arms up. 
Exhale, reach out and down. Again, wherever you land is fine. Walk the fingers forward if your, head, if your right hand is on the ground. And breathe. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, arms down. Look up to the ceiling. Release. Bring the soles of the feet together and hop the knees up and down in butterfly pose. And back straight. Stretch out the legs in preparation for sitting forward bend. You can lift the flesh up in the buttocks, which is sitting right on the bone to give you a better tilt. The back is straight. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, reach out and down. And remember what I said, it doesn't matter where you land. Resist the temptation to pull. It's very easy to pull the lower back muscle in this position. So it's not worth it. Just stay there for the stretch. Wherever you feel the, the tightness, hold on to that. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then you can try coming a little further. So just take your time with it. Inhale, reach up and down. Look up toward the ceiling for a quick counter stretch. You can point the toes, throw the head back, and come into an inclined plane. If this is too much for you, you can bend your knees and lift the hips up. And then relax. Let's come over to relax on the stomach. Turn the head to one side. You can make a pillow with your hands. And bring your big toes together, leaving, letting, allowing your heels to fall down to the ground. And if you're feeling pressure in the lower back, gently rock the hips from side to side to release that pressure. We're going to come up into the cobra. So bring the forehead on the ground and the hands underneath the shoulders. The fingers should be in line with the shoulders, the elbows pointing up to the ceiling, the feet together. Inhale, roll up the forehead, nose, chin, neck, shoulders, chest. Open the chest to the ceiling. Try to keep the feet together if you can. Breathe. And then slowly with control, roll down. Turn your head in the opposite direction that you had before. Big toes together. Let gravity pull the heels down. Bring the hands under the shoulders and lift yourself up. Stretch back into child's pose. Open up the knees. Give yourself some breathing room. You can keep your arms extended and then roll onto the top of the head, lifting the buttocks up and down so that you stretch the back of the neck. And then let's give an opposite stretch looking up toward the fingertips. Then roll up. Bring the hands in front of you. Curl the toes in. And lift up into downward dog. Walk the feet into the middle of the hands. Then roll up. Vertebrae by vertebrae. With the head being the last to come up, bring the hands to the small of the back. And arch the back. Prepare for trying. Bring the left leg behind you with the toes pointing at a 90 degree angle. These toes are pointing up. Check that your hips are facing forward. Inhale the arms out. Exhale, reach up and out. Reaching to the right side. So we don't want the head falling down like this. We want to keep the neck straight in line with the spinal column. And then we're going to look up and open up to open up the chest. Come back, looking forward. Inhale, reach up and out. Exhale, arms down. Let's do that on the other side. Switch the feet. Check the hips. Inhale, the arms out. Exhale, reach down to the left side. And again, we're going to keep the neck straight. And then open up, lifting up. Come back straight. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, down. Bring the feet together. Preparing for tree. So tree is a balancing exercise and we want to be sure that the mind is steady when we're doing balancing exercises. So find a point on the floor or on the wall in front of you to focus on. The right leg is in line with the right hip. Let's lift the toes of the right foot up so that we come down one at a time and get rooted into the ground. And then the left foot can be anywhere. You can keep the left foot inside of the thigh or inside of the knee 
inside of the ankle, or maybe even just leave the toes on the ground. And that's absolutely fine. It's a balancing exercise and you should be comfortable. Back straight, hands together, keeping the hands together, lift the arms up. Steady on your point and breathe. If you'd like, you can separate the arms. Let's bring the hands together and down. And we'll do that on the other side. So left leg is in line with the left hip. Lift the toes up, come down one at a time, root it into the ground. Bring the foot, the right foot, wherever you feel comfortable, doesn't matter where that is. You can leave the toes on the ground, that's absolutely fine. Hands together, steady on your point. Inhale the arms up. And again, you can separate the arms. It's okay if you sway. Tray, trees sway. Bring the hands down. And then we're going to do standing forward bend. So standing forward bend, the legs are, are kind of straight and just inside of the hips. So the hips are here, right? So the feet are kind of just inside of the hips. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, reach out and down. So your choice, if your hands are comfortably on the ground, you can slide the fingers under the toes. If you'd like, you can grab hold of the elbows, opposite elbows. If you can reach, opposite elbows behind, or just hold on to the legs and let the head fall down toward the ground. Nod yes and no to release any tension in the neck. Release the arms and then roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae. With the head being the last to come up, bring the hands to the small of the back, arch the back. Straighten out the spine. Separate the legs slightly, toes pointing out, hands together, come down into a yoga squat. Pushing the, el pushing the elbows out, forcing the knees, separating the knees. Back is straight, tailbone coming down to the ground. Breathe. Now let's bring your hands, one behind you, one in front. Sit down, and then come down on your back and prepare for final relaxation. Lying on your back, legs separated one to two feet apart, arms six inches from the body. And first we're going to do some tension, so let's tense the legs and feet, tense, 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 lift the feet up and drop. Tense the hips and buttocks, up and drop. Tense the chest, lift up, leave the shoulders on the ground and drop. Tense the lower back, push it into the ground and release. Tense the arms, make fists with the hands, open up the fingers wide and drop. Tense the shoulders, lift them up to the ears, and drop. Tense all the muscles of the face, make a tight pruned face, and release. Stretch all the muscles of the face, open up the eyes, open up the mouth, stick out the tongue wide, and release. Gently roll the head to the right. Gently roll the head to the left, and back to center. Practicing abdominal breathing, inhale, abdomen up to the ceiling, exhale, abdomen down to the ground. Make any necessary adjustments you have to, and then allow gravity to melt the body into the ground. Release all tension. Practicing guided relaxation. Mentally repeat after me. My feet are relaxing. My feet are relaxed. My legs are relaxing. My legs are relaxed. My hips are relaxing. My hips are relaxed. My back is relaxing. My back is relaxed. My sides are relaxing. Sides are relaxed. My abdomen is relaxing. My abdomen is relaxed. My chest is relaxing. My chest is relaxed. My hands are relaxing. My hands are relaxed. My arms are relaxing. My arms are relaxed. My shoulders are relaxing. 
my shoulders are relaxed. My neck is relaxing. My neck is relaxed. My jaw is relaxing. My jaw is relaxed. My mouth is relaxing. My mouth is relaxed. My cheeks are relaxing. My cheeks are relaxed. My nose is relaxing. My nose is relaxed. My eyes are relaxing. My eyes are relaxed. My forehead is relaxing. My forehead is relaxed. My head is relaxing. My head is relaxed. My mind and my body are completely relaxed. Gently wiggle the fingers and the toes, bringing your body back to life. Bring the feet together, stretch the arms over the head, giving your body a long waking up stretch. Roll over to the right side of your body, resting on the right side of your body for a few breaths until you're feeling ready to come up into seated pose. Up into seated pose, back straight, Take a few breaths, settle in, watch your breath, inhale, exhale. Hands together, lower your head, thank your internal teacher for bringing you here today. <laughs>